Alright guys, so I've recently watched the movie Gravity again. This sci-fi movie that came out in 2013 had mind-blowing visual effects. 80% of the movie is computer generated. And I remember watching this movie for the first time in the theater and be completely impressed by the first shot of the movie. In this shot, the camera gets closer to a space shuttle orbiting over the Earth and you can see how huge and beautiful our planet is. So I thought it would be great to create a similar shot using After Effects and Magic Nodes, my extension for After Effects to do node compositing. The reason why I've created this extension for After Effects is to improve the way we do compositing, so you can combine the benefits of layer-based compositing and node-based compositing within the same application. So what's new in this 1.5 version of Magic Nodes? In this version, you can now use shortcuts to improve your workflow. You can create dot nodes to improve the readability of your compositing graph. You can also duplicate whole graphs easily. And finally, it's now easier to see to what type of elements a node is connected to when you hover it. So let's dive in and create a cool space shot together using this new version of Magic Nodes. Okay, so here I have an empty project in After Effects with only one imported sequence. This sequence is a full CGI shot made in 3D Studio Max, representing a simple space shuttle illuminated by a distant light and an HD array. So we are going to create the Earth entirely in After Effects, the atmosphere and the clouds using only built-in effects and composite our space shuttle over it. To launch the extension, just go to Extensions and click on Magic Nodes. Now, with this new version, it is very easy to set up your project because you just have to import the footage you want using the Ctrl I shortcut and it will automatically change your compositing settings such as the size, the frame rate and the duration to fit the properties of your footage. Okay, so the first step is to create the Earth. To do this, I'm going to create a new solid by hitting Ctrl Y. Draw the shape of the Earth and apply a gradient ramp effect. We set a light bluish color on the horizon and a darker one close to the camera. Now, to create the atmosphere, I'm going to add an FX node, so just hit F to create the node and it will be automatically connected to my previous node. And here, I'm going to add a fast box blur to blur the horizon and a gradient ramp to add colors to my atmosphere. And finally, increase the exposure. Now, the magic happens when you blend the Earth with the atmosphere. So just hit M and you will automatically have a merge node connected to your selected nodes. <laughs> it looks better now. To create the clouds, I have simply downloaded a clouds map that you can get for free on the shadedrelief.com website. So let's import it and place it on our Earth. I can also duplicate it to get more density and merge both nodes using the screen mode. However, you can see here that it's too sharp on the horizon. So the important step is to create an alpha map that will smooth out the clouds towards the horizon. To do this, I will create an affix node attached to our Earth solid. And then, we blend this with our clouds using the alpha matte blending mode. And I will start tweaking it to get a smoother transition on the horizon using some blur and adjusting the alpha curve. The thing is that our clouds look fake. We want more of a 3D look. So to fake 3D illumination and get a realistic look for the clouds, I've got a little trick. I'm going to create an affix node and blend it with our clouds using a multiply blending mode. Now here, we can add a transform effect to shift a little bit the clouds, increase the contrast using a levels effect, invert all of this and add a little bit of blur. And voila, the clouds now look much more 3D. We only need to blend our Earth with our clouds to start seeing some results. 
And here I'm going to use the screen blending mode to get the result I want. But what's missing here is some bluish haze over the clouds to increase the realism. To do this I'm actually going to need our solid here. So I'm gonna create a dot connection node by alt dragging on this path. That's the beauty of node compositing, you can reuse the nodes for other purposes without the need of pre-composing. From this node just create an affix node. Let's call it haze. And in this node I just need to add some exposure. Now if I blend my current compositing with my haze using an overlay blending mode you can see that it looks much better. However, that's a little bit too much. So I need to create a mat, so the haze is applied only towards the horizon of my earth. It's actually very easy, simply create a new affix node, apply a tint effect, and a levels effect to adjust the contrast. Now connect it to our merge node as a luma mat, which means that only the brightest area of this node will be used as a mat and merge these two nodes together. Oh yeah, much better. We can even animate our earth to give some dynamism to our shot. Now it's time to insert our space shuttle. I've got my sequence here that we have imported earlier. What we need to do is first to composite the passes of my XR sequence. And then we will create a light wrap map that will improve how our background blends with our shuttle. Alright, so this EXR sequence contains multiple passes, such as a specular pass, an ambient occlusion pass, and an alpha pass which needs to be composited together. I will extract the pass I want using the extractor effect. And repeat this operation for both the ambient occlusion pass and the alpha pass. And then I will blend my RGB with my specular pass using the additive mode. Merge this result with my ambient occlusion pass using a multiply blending mode. And finally, use the alpha map to remove the background. If I just merge my shuttle with my background, it seems wrong and fake on the edges. That's because our planet is a very bright background and it should create some halo on the edges of our shuttle. This is where the light wrap comes in. A light wrap is a black and white map in which the edges of your subject have a subtle gradient towards the center. This allows you to make your background blend with your subject. To make this map you only need the alpha pass. So I will simply duplicate my alpha pass and connect it to a merge node two times, the second time using an affix node. And select the difference mode, which will display the differences between both inputs. Then, we only need to apply a fast blur on the second input using an affix node and adjust the amount. Finally, I will connect again the alpha pass to my track mat input and select the stencil luma mode. And here you go! To use our light wrap map, we just need to set it as a luma mat on our background. This means that our background will only appear on the brightest area of our image, here on the edges of our shuttle. And finally, merge this result with our compositing. If the halo is too visible, like in this case, you can just lower the opacity to make it more subtle. As a final touch, I've added some chromatic aberration, grain, lens refraction and a vignette. <laughs> That's actually very cool, we've just created a space shot in 5 minutes. The final node graph allows you to get a better overview of how the elements are blended together than just using layers. In the end, the movie Gravity earned more than $700 million at the global box office and received 7 Academy Awards, one of them being in the category Best Visual Effects. 
I hope you liked this tutorial guys. Magic Nose is available on my website hollywoodillusion.com and it's compatible starting from After Effects 2017. The link is in the description. Thanks a lot guys for all your support and your kind comments. I had so much fun working on this project and many cool updates will come. This is a community tool so if you have any requests please let me know. I hope you liked this update and I see you soon for another exciting tutorial.